Yeah, I'm aware of the rumors circulating about Adam Smith. People saying that he's either been sacked by Sky or he's left Sky. And there's allegations about a gambling addiction, implications that there could be potential corruption if Smith has been betting on fights that have been happening on the Sky platform. I'm not saying any of this. I'm just relaying what the fans are saying online. So what do I think about it? Well, I watched a few interviews, including an interview with Johnny Nelson, and nobody looks very convincing to me. I even saw an interview with Ben Shalom, and he said, oh yeah, Adam's sick at the moment and he's going to be back in January, etc. Yeah, <laughs> nobody is convincing me right now. It seems like there's more going on than meets the eye. So I suspect that there is something happening here, and particularly with the Johnny Nelson interview. He didn't categorically deny that Adam Smith had been sacked or he'd left or there was something going on with him regarding his position at the company. So, yeah, I suspect there probably is something going on. Whether he's been sacked or not, maybe there's, maybe he's been suspended. You know, perhaps that's a possibility. The thing I find most interesting or will find most interesting is who replaces him. Now, it's come to my attention that Adam Smith's job role or job title actually changed a while back because he was formerly the head of Sky Boxing. But in recent months, his job title has been something different. Does that mean he got demoted? And if so, why did he get demoted? And if, he's, if he really has had this gambling problem, why has it only come to the surface now? Is it something that's just happened recently? If he has a gambling problem at all, how did people find out about it? And why has it all of a sudden become a problem? You see what I'm saying? I'm, these are the questions I'm asking in my head. Because certainly in the world of media and in business and all walks of life, you have people who will come into a company, into a business, and start trying to get other people sacked, start trying to force them out. If Adam Smith has been sacked, is that what's happened here? Has somebody actually come in recently and started prying and doing this, that, and the other, maybe gaining Adam Smith's confidence and then sacking him? Is that what's happening? Or is it maybe the media? Maybe there's some member of a you know, journalist from a newspaper who's investigated and found something out, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. We can only speculate, but that's what's going through my head with regards to this Adam Smith thing. And I made a video a few months back regarding Ben Shalom, because I do find the Ben Shalom story very curious indeed. Here's a guy who, as far as I can find out, only did a few small hall shows. He didn't have a deep background in boxing. He isn't like Eddie Hearn, whose dad was a big boxing promoter and already had a contract with Sky, right, for the darts and snooker and all that kind of thing. So there was nepotism for Eddie Hearn. But we get it. Eddie Hearn's been around boxing his whole life. So even though I can understand the grievances the other promoters would have, he's not just literally coming from nowhere, Eddie Hearn, when he started at Sky Sports. Comes from a boxing family. And giving Eddie Hearn the reins as the lone promoter on Sky at the time they did, they could basically just have Barry Hearn supervise Eddie. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's, it's not like they were completely taking a gamble on an unknown promoter. They know that Barry's going to be making sure everything's okay. And on top of that, when Eddie started out with Sky, he had a small budget. He was doing small shows. He was doing prize fighter all the time. You guys remember that? So... It was very different to the way Ben Shalom has started. He's just come out of nowhere. No serious boxing background that I'm aware of. Very young. And he's been given an enormous budget. And 
and you know, and shortly afterwards, potentially, Adam Smith has gone. Did Ben Shalom joining Sky have anything to do with the Adam Smith situation now? I'm just asking questions here, people. I'm not making assumptions or accusations. I'm just asking questions. I'm thinking out loud. These are the things going on in my head. At the end of the day, as a boxing fan, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just an inquisitive kind of person because I was no big fan of Adam Smith at all. In fact, I don't like the guy. <laughs> Didn't really like him as a commentator and as an individual, I really don't like him. So if he's left and gone, whatever. But who are they going to replace him with? And will Sky Boxing change in any way as a result? Will there possibly be other people? If Adam Smith goes, will there be other people that go? Because sometimes that happens. When you have a guy in a company who's been there for a long time, Adam Smith been at Sky, what, nearly 30 years? Sometimes the person will, very often a person will have individuals around them who they selected, right? They'll pick their own team. And if that person goes, then sometimes the other team go. Either they leave of their own accord or they're pushed. If Smith really has gone, are we going to see that as well here? Are we going to see the Johnny Nelsons and the Anna Woolhouses and the Matthew Macklins go too? You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, some people would say that's probably a good thing <laughs> if they just cleared house and got fresh talent in. But I haven't been impressed by... If it's anything to do with Ben Shalom, I don't know. But whoever it is that's responsible for picking new uh, uh, new members of the Skyboxing team, whoever's been responsible for that, I haven't been particularly impressed since Ben Shalom took over as the main promoter on Sky. Because first of all, they had that Buddy Johnson guy as the announcer, right? And Buddy Johnson was an English guy who put on an American accent to do the announcing. You know one of the most underrated announcers ever? Mike Goodall. He doesn't do announcing anymore. He just does his, uh, his business putting up rings and taking down rings, I think now. But Mike Goodall was a good announcer, as British announcers go. He was a good announcer. I, I like Mike Goodall. But yeah, that Buddy Johnson guy, <laughs> as far as I'm aware, nobody liked him. Like Nobody liked his style. It was just weird. Buddy Johnson was then replaced by this new announcer they've got, this really tall guy who's not really much better. At least he's an actual American and not somebody putting on an American accent. And the, uh, the presenters that they've got running about the place uh, for Boxer Sky, they're all just weird, you know? I'm talking about the new people, the, the young people they've got. They're all just weird. <laughs> That's the best way I could describe them. There's no real talent there. There's no real charisma there. They seem like fish out of water. So, yeah, I'm not filled with confidence regarding possible replacements for the current Sky team. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Just a short video about this Adam Smith situation. If there is a situation, again, I want to reiterate. I'm just relaying what fans have been saying online and then thinking out loud. I'm not making any accusations about anything or anyone <laughs> to make it clear for the record, all right? Just thinking out loud. Let me know what you guys think. If you're tired of the biased narratives and mass censorship on mainstream platforms, and you want to be part of a community of critical thinkers who love free speech just as much as you do, then come and join me on Patreon and access my weekly no holds barred censorship-free podcast where we lift the lid on a wide variety of controversial topics. It's not mainstream friendly. It's not politically correct. But that's the whole point. We dare to stand as a beacon of reason against an army of insanity. Just head on over to my Patreon page and select the tier called Hatman Hot Topics. You'll gain access to a minimum of two hours of exclusive content every single week, including podcasts, videos, interviews, live stream Q&As, as well as my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. Not to mention a vast back catalog of hundreds of hours of previous episodes. You can listen via the Patreon app with the option to download in high quality MP3. 
We've also got an element group where you can come and chat and hang out with myself and other members. Unlike Discord, it has full end-to-end -end encryption, it's decentralized, and it's 100% censorship free. You can also send voice notes as well as much larger audio and video files than you can on Discord. So come and sign up on Patreon. There's no contract, there's no commitment, you can cancel at any time, and it's cheaper than a cup of coffee. So I'll see you over there. I'm out.